Hello everyone, and welcome to Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, I wanted you to know that this will be a blind Let's Play. I've never played the game before, other than when the game first came out many years ago, uh, I played for like 30 minutes, I think, and I soon realized that there were other games other than this one. And so I decided to stop playing then, and uh, I decided before I play Inquisition, I want to play the first two games. Um, and that's what I did. Eventually, I got around to doing that, and I have a full Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins completed, and also Dragon Age 2. That has also been completed, and that's up on my channel. So, since I have played the first two games, um, I have some familiarity with the lore, I have familiarity with some of the characters uh, that were in those games, and uh, yeah, but I've never actually played this game, so I'm looking forward to it, and I'm excited. I really enjoyed the first two games, so I'm excited to play this one. And uh, after I finish this Let's Play, hopefully I'll be playing Dreadwolf whenever that comes out. For those that are already current viewers, I just wanted to say I'm still doing the Skyrim Let's Play. I'm just going to alternate videos. It'll be Inquisition, then Skyrim, then Inquisition, and Skyrim, and it's back and forth like that. But anyway, um, I'm excited to get into it. I don't remember anything from the first 30 minutes that I played uh, many, many years ago. So um, <laughs> it's just been too long. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I do have a few mods, by the way. Uh, my mods are in the description, and I set up Dragon Age Keep so that all my decisions in Origins and Dragon Age 2 will carry over into this game. Alright, let's get started with a new game. Okay, so, um... It looks like I have... Oh, by the way, I have decided I'm going to be an elf because I think that elves are cool um, also I'm going to be a female because I was a male in the first two and I decided hey let's be a female I don't need to voice the character so it doesn't matter that my voice is different because they have their own dialogue so elves are historically oppressed people distinguishable by their lithe frames and pointed ears though most survive in the poorest fringes of human cities Others live as nomads, known as the Dalish. Elves receive a bonus of 25% to ranged defense. And it is cool just to see that I could be a Konari. Uh, that's a pretty neat thing. Um, or a dwarf and human. Those are pretty standard. But uh, the fact that I can be a Konari is pretty cool. But I'm going to be a female elf. And what am I going to do? Well... You guys know that this is the Nightwind Archer channel, so I think it's pretty obvious. Um, rogues are fighters who rely on speed and agility rather than heavy armor, using skill and an advantageous position on the battlefield to deal incredible damage. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind. When I'm fighting, I'm going to have to be like thinking about being in an advantageous position. Uh, they may get up close and personal with daggers or strike from a distance with arrows. I think this is going to be so much fun being a rogue archer. Um, and in terms of difficulty, I'll probably just play normal. Um, I'm not, you know, I've never played this game before. I'm not a hardcore gamer. Most of the things I play uh, games for is not for the combat, but it's more for the lore and story. So uh, let's go ahead and do a normal difficulty playthrough. Okay, so... I guess this is my character summary. Enslaved long ago by humans, most elves still live as second-class citizens within human cities. Yes, I'm familiar with this. Elves who reject this life are known as the Dalish nomadic wanderers who strive to keep the ancient elven religion and traditions alive. You were raised in the wilderness to be a hunter, relied upon by the Lavellan clan for good, for food and protection. The clan wandered the northern free marches and had little need to interact with humans until the clan's keeper sent you to the Chantry's conclave as a spy. What happened there, she said, would impact not only the Dalish, but indeed all elves. She could not have known how right she was. Okay, so let's do that. And do I have a world state import? I do. Uh, importing from the previous... Uh, games and as we can see 1227 that is when I made that import I'm ready to accept that 
confirm. Uh, yep, confirm. And here we go. So let's see. I'm excited. <laughs> load screen. Okay, I did not expect the first thing to be a load screen. Metals are found in more mountainous and rocky areas. Explore these areas for caves, which are often home to these crafting resources. Oh, okay, it is a lo I, that's cool. An interactive loading screen. What's Oh, that's me. Oh, okay, so I have to create my character now. I get it, I get it. All right, so the head, I suppose I can customize that. I didn't expect this, but of course I should expect this. Character customization, what am I talking about? Um, so I'm gonna try uh, to make a character here, and I don't wanna take up all your time, so I'm probably gonna skip past this, but. Okay, guys, this is gonna be my character. Um, I think she looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. She doesn't look exactly the way I wanted, but it's okay. I think I'm pretty happy with it anyway. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and accept these changes. And I'm gonna have to name my character. Um, honestly, Alana doesn't sound too bad. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna use the name Arathel. That's gonna be the name, and it's a beautiful name. Uh, so yeah, let's use that. Who is that? And why does she have a triangle head? Where am I? Where where is this? Ooh, gross. Ugh. Yeah, I better get out of there. I don't know, it looked like I was close enough to grab her hand to me. Where did I come from? What is, what is that? <laughs> What's up with my hand? Okay, so I'm cuffed. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead, except for you. Uh. Okay, uh, so use left stick and A to select a response. Um, I mean, yeah, that's horrible. What do you mean everyone's dead? Explain this. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is or how it got there. You're lying. We need her, Cassandra. Uh, okay, so it says some dialogues give you the opportunity to respond emotionally to situations. When these opportunities appear, special icons will highlight the emotion tied to the response. Okay, so what is that? An eye crying? So does that mean sad response? Uh, angry response? Conf uh, con I guess confused? Uh, I'm not sure what the swirly means. Um, and like aggressive? 
Yeah, I guess I'll be I guess I'll be sad. I'll be sad for all the people that died. I can't believe it. All those people dead. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember running. Things were chasing me and then a woman? A woman. Right, like that golden she woman. She reached out to me, but then Go to the forward camp, Liliana. Oh, I Liliana. Of course. How did I not see that earlier? What did happen? It will be easier to show you. To show me? I miss Liliana. Hopefully I get to see her again soon. Oh wow, what is that? We call it the breach. The breach. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. Wow. It's All beautiful. were caused by the explosion at the conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Oh, what the? Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. Uh, okay, so anytime I see investigate, I always want to investigate to learn more of what the heck's going on. Um, do you still think I'm guilty? You still think I did this? To myself. Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. Okay. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however, and yours. So she thinks this mark on my hand might be able to close that breach. Okay, uh, well, I mean, I guess if I can help and I can, you know, prevent evil from spewing out into the world, then I will, right? I guess, right? <laughs> I understand. Then I'll do what I can, whatever it takes. And I assume it's evil. I mean, I don't even know that it's evil, actually. They have decided your guilt. They oh, yeah, they it. hate me. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. Mm. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves as she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. A Come. trial? It is not far. Where are you taking me? So I'm not innocent then. Your mark must be tested uh, because there's still going to be a trial. Damage. Oh, geez. And look at all those codex entries that are unlocked. All right. So LS to move around. Okay. I got the idea. And then the camera. Okay. Obvious. This is all very normal. Um, by the way, I'll, I have this on max settings. I don't have the best computer Open in the world, the but... We are heading into the valley. If it gets choppy, then I'll reduce the settings. Um, okay, so that mark on the compass indicates your quest destination. Okay, makes sense. Access the quest map. Okay. All right, there I am. Yeah, got it. 
Okay, and this is the objective. Oh, and there's like a little thing. The Wraith, the Wraith of Heaven. Cassandra wants to test the effects of the mark left by the blast. There is a rift nearby that may be suitable. Get to the rift with the Cassandra. Okay. So that would be up this way, I guess. Yeah, run, men. Get, get to safety, men. I can handle this. I think. <laughs> I hope. But wow, look at how beautiful that is. I can tell you right now, I already love the game so much more just because of the visual fidelity, basically. Wow. Oh, what the? Oh, what, what happened? The pulses are coming faster now. Okay. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. Yeah, the golden no one lady. Knows who she was. Everything farther in the valley was laid waste, including the temple of sacred ashes. I suppose you'll see soon enough. The temple of sacred ashes? Okay. All right. Wow, it's so freaking pretty. Whoa! Oh! What the? Shoot. Stay behind me. Okay. Is that a bow? Oh God. I'm gonna have to turn down the effects. Jesus, so loud. Uh, okay, press right trigger to attack. Oh, but I've got to back up though. I can't just stay close like that all the time, right? Hold it down. There, does that help? What does this do? Oh, okay, so that he runs away now. You know what? Now I get it, I got it. It's over. Drop your weapon, now. What do you mean? Dude, I just helped you. Yeah, you should trust me. If you're going to lead me through a demon-infested valley, you'll have to trust me. Give me one reason to trust you. Because my life is on the line. Yeah. <sighs> you're right. Yeah, exactly. I cannot protect you. And I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Right, exactly. Jeez. <laughs> I wish everybody was that, Take like, thoughtful <laughs> and introspective about face. themselves. Press Where left bumper start? to select to consume a potion. Oh, not like that. Like this. Okay, like... Wait a minute. How, like this? At the forward camp, we'll oh, there we go. I hope I didn't we waste that. I hope I didn't waste that potion. Oh, wait. There was loot. The, the loot. Okay. Oh, okay. So I got a helmet. Nice. A plus three dexterity. I will take it. All right. Then I've got to equip it. Uh, there's inventory. I assume that's where it is. Armor. And... Uh, scout hat. All right, there you go. Um, all right, that's equipped. But is there only a hat and a coat? That's it? Where's all the other armor? Oh, there it is. I see it now. I was in armor. So there's weapons. There's the chest and hat. And then rings and necklace and a belt. Okay, so there's no boots? You can't wear boots in the game? There's no boot slot? What's up with that? All right, so let's keep going.
Um, abilities consume mana and stamina for powerful combat effects. Most abilities require time to pass before reuse. There, okay. watch out! If we flank them, we oh, may gain okay, the yeah. So since I'm way up here, do I deal more damage? I think I am. Lock the camera. Oh, use right stick to switch between targets. Okay, got it. Okay, that was that was really effective. So I'm taking a note. Like when I'm up here shooting downward, I was doing in the 20s, mid 20s damage. I'll see if that changes. Like if I get close. Wow, look at all these dead apostates. They must have been, or not apostates. Are they apostates? Or are they Chantry people? I don't know. All right, let's. Up on the hill, it attacks from a distance. Okay. Oh, jeez. Hey, leave me alone, bro. Ooh, 263, that's a strong hit. He's down. Oh, Codex Unlocked, Wraith. Um, definitely want to read the Wraith entry. One second here. Just so you guys know, any new viewers, I love to read codex entries. And oh my goodness, look at all these codex entries. Um, okay, so there's tutorials. I'm not really going to read those. I kind of get that. But my goodness, look at all this good lore here. Uh, there's probably too much for right now for me to read. But uh, I will definitely look at at least the shade one right and the wraith one okay that one's kind of small all right let's read shade really quick um it has often been suggested that the only way for a demon to affect the world of the living is by possess possessing a living or once living body but this is not always true indeed a shade is one such creature a demon in its true form that has adapted to affect the world around it my hypothesis is this we already know that many demons become, become confused when they pass through the veil into our world. They are unable to tell the living from the dead, the very static nature of our universe being confusing to a creature that is accustomed to a physicality defined entirely by emotion and memory. Most demons seek to seize immediately upon anything they perceive as life, jealousy or jealously attempting to possess it. But what of those that do not? What of those that encounter no life? or fail to possess a body? What of those that are more cautious by their nature? These demons watch, they lurk, they envy. In time, such a demon will learn to drain energy from the psyche of those it encounters, just as it did in the Fade. Um, once it has drained enough, it has the power to manifest and will forever after be known as a Shade. Such a creature spurns possession. It instead floats as a shadow across its piece of land, preying upon the psyche of any who cross its path. Perhaps it believes itself still in the Fade? There are There is evidence to believe that this is so. All right, really cool. Oh, neat, and you can even show the image. That's, that's really nice. Um, so there we go, there's our nice little shade. And wraiths, cool. Like wisps, wraiths are often sometimes thought to be the remains of spirits or demons that have been destroyed. They cannot shape the fate around themselves, nor are they capable of mimicking forms they see in the minds of dreamers as many weaker spirits do. Instead, they are the scavengers of the fade, dwelling in the shadows of strong beings, feeding on scraps of thought and emotion. <laughs> From Beyond the Veil, Spirits and Demons by Enchanter Mirdramel. Okay, that's a new name. I'm not used to seeing Mirdramel from the previous games. Uh, cool. There is a lot more here, but I'll read, save some of those for later. Um, I will read them eventually. Ooh. A loot. Dreamer Rags. What is a rag? This is a creature research item. Bring it to a creature research specialist to learn more about this type of creature. Okay, so I can learn about creatures by researching them. That's kind of cool to know. So if I research a creature, like, what happens? Do I get stronger? Uh, uh, do I just unlock lore? I'm really not sure. Ah, they're falling from the breach. Uh, oh, okay, there's more. Oh, goodness. 
Uh, stealth escapes foe's notice until you attack or take damage. I'm gonna have to use that often, I feel like. Okay, so there's those... These are the ones that never captured a body. Those fade ones. Oh, he's coming after me. All right, so I'm gonna... Yeah, get away from me. Okay, now I can attack. There we go, very nice. Now, I don't know what weakened means. I noticed that they're weakened. I don't really know what that means. Okay, so we killed him, right? All right, let's go. Uh, I guess I go up these stairs, I assume. We're getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. fighting. Yeah. You'll see soon. Is it like an army? Well, I can't go over there. That's completely blocked off. Oh, wait. Who is this? Oh, there we go. There's enemies over here. Ooh, only 55. All right. Get away from me, buddy. Dang, they're so strong. My little arrows. Oh. There's Varric. Before more come through. <laughs> oh. What did you do? I did nothing. The credit is yours. There's that bald dude I always see. By the way, even though I have never played this game before, uh, not in its entirety. Um, I have seen this dude on tons of like Twitter posts and like Dragon Age Inquisition, like like uh, art and fan art. So I've seen this guy a bunch. I don't know anything about him though. Um, so um, I did nothing. The credit is yours. Hmm. I closed that thing. How? Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> she seems Here so I depressed we'd to hear be that. Deep in demons forever. Barak Tethrus, rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she didn't seem... Okay, so he's definitely not with the Chantry. So I know some of these characters from playing the other two games. Um, but yeah, just so you know. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Ugh. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. You could be right. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. Solus. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. Oh, wait. So he was watching me while I slept? He seems to know about this mark. Uh, how do you know about this mark, and can you tell me about it? You seem to know a great deal about it all. Solus is an apostate, well-versed in such matters. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels oh, okay. have allowed me to learn much of the Fade, far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed, regardless of origin. Hmm, okay. What was that that's hanging around his stomach? There was like a jawbone or something around his stomach. I was wondering what that is, but... Um... Yeah. If I can close the breach, I will. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is no mage. Indeed, I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. So wait, well, I'm not a mage? 
Bianca's excited. <laughs> so I'm not a mage? Like, um, okay, there's Solus and the Varric Codex. The so I have this we green thing. Quickly. Okay, let's jump. Um, I have this green thing on my hand, but I'm not a mage, though. So it's some other kind of magic that's not normal magic? I, I don't know. To control other party members, press up and down. Oh, okay, that makes sense. By the way, I noticed Cassandra has shield on her health bar, and I don't. Actually, I have a little bit of life missing, but nothing too serious. Let me go ahead and save, just to get that saved. All right, so let's, what will we face down this road? What other creature? Demon's head. Glad you brought me now, Seeker. Oh, there they are. Okay. Uh, tactical camera to press. Uh, the, yeah, press the tactical camera mode, which helps better evaluate. While in tactical camera, use the left stick to scan the battlefield, and then use right stick. This is almost like in uh, Origins. To cycle through targets, switch control between your party members and press A. Oh, to issue orders. Okay, this is going to take some getting used to. Hold le right trigger to advance time. Is there like a... S okay, this... Uh, I, I tend to not think it's that fun, to be honest. But we'll see if I use it more in the future. What is that thing? I need to back up. Because I think my, doesn't my bow deal more damage when I'm farther away? Okay, chilled, I don't know what chilled means, but. All right, we got him, but there's still more. Can I hit from this far away? I guess not. Ooh. By the way, I love the combat in this game. It's so much like more cool looking, I guess, is the term. Uh, so do I go to that house? Do I go over here? I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. I guess I'll go here. I'm sure there's like rewards so, for like- Are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. It's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. Oh, okay. I like that they, I, the little speech box that's next to their little portrait. That way I can see, even though I should kind of recognize their voice. It's just kind of a nice touch. Oh God, I gotta, I gotta, ah, get away. I gotta make sure if I'm an archer, I need to use archery correctly and I need to like be ranged if I can and shoot from above. It's just, the bow is so weak. Or at least this bow is. I'm sure there's better bows later in the game. Jesus, it takes so many hits. All right, man, this is a lot of fun. I'm having, I'm just telling you guys, I'm having I a damn good time. Made it through all this. She's resourceful, Seeker. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there. We're almost there. Speaking of, um, I just remembered that there were some characters I wanted to read. Um, I, Cassandra Pentagast. Okay, so this is Cassandra's little thing. So let's read about her really quick. Um, by the way, you can always skip past these little codex entries if you don't want to hear me read them, but I love learning more about the world and lore, so I'm all about it. So I have timestamps in the description if you want to skip. Cassandra Pentagast, Lord Seeker Lucius. I am fully aware of the intent behind your predecessor's declaration. Lord Seeker Lambert pried the Templars away from Chantry control and led them into an assault upon all mages for reasons you both find justified. I, however, am uncertain when the Seekers of Truth went from guarding against injustice to perpetrating it. 
If you truly believe that is not the case, I suggest you look out a window at the chaos this world has caused and ask yourself if Thetis will recover even if you are victorious. I remain at Divine Justinia's right hand and will stay there even if you brand me traitor. I am sorry, but there is too much at stake to swerve from the path we willingly follow at the Chantry's foundation. From a letter by Seeker Cassandra Pendergast to Lord Seeker Lucius Corin, Dragon 939. Speaking of 939, I'm not sure exactly how many years have passed since Dragon Age 2, but uh, so this is just Dinia V. Formerly the revered mother Dorothea of Orlais, Divine Justinia V rose to power after the death of Divine Beatrix III in the year 933 of the Dragon Age. Little is known of, D of Dorothea's background before she joined the Chantry as an initiate, but she proved to be a liberal and daring thinker, willing to take a former bard and lay sister, Liliana, as a close advisor. A headstrong devotion to her own agenda and rumored support of the Mage Rebellion earned her no small dislike from the powerful priests long used to controlling access to the Divine. In the year 940 the dragon, uh, of the Dragon Age, Divine Justinia called a summit, intending to uh, negotiate a truce between the Mage Rebellion and the Templars splintered from the Chantry. The Divine Conclave was held at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, the most holy place in Thetis. Before a resolution could be reached, a cataclysmic explosion destroyed the Conclave, consumed the Temple, rent the sky and shattered the world's hopes for peace my goodness and that's what i saw at the start screen when i pushed new game just uh, divine justinia the fifth perished in the temple of sacred ashes so she's dead now the chantry fl uh, flounders leaderless in the wake of her death and its fate grows increasingly uncertain if order is not restored to thetis justinia the fifth might be remembered as the chantry's final divine damn the final divine all right. Well, we read two. Let's let's keep going. Get back to the action. Um. So there is no divine anymore for the chantry. Come on, gang. Uh, fade rifts are caused we by weaknesses in the veil. Quickly. Disrupting a rift with your dis dang it. Disrupting a rift with your mark will cause damage to nearby demons. Oh, when demons are dead, close the rift with the mark. So if I close the rift first, is that better? How long do I have to do this? Oh, there we go. Oh man, that deals a lot of damage. Man, I should always do the rift first. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. That was dope. Level up. Your character has leveled up. This increases... Okay. This increases your health and stats automatically and awards you one ability point to use. Press start to open the hero menu and select character record to see the abilities screen. Okay. So, character record? Uh... So there's ability, tactics, attributes, and behaviors. Uh, double daggers. Well, I'm definitely more, yeah, give me that archery. Experts in this style are masters of ranged combat. They can avoid enemies that attempt to close, uh, that, it, that attempt to close. Uh, put arrows or bolts through multiple foes and even unleash explosive shots to devastating effect. Okay. Each ability tree contains active abilities, upgrades, and passive abilities. Yes, I remember this from Dragon Age 2. Um, active abilities have diamond-shaped icons. They can be mapped. Yes, understand. Um, when you have the ability points available, press A to learn a highlighted ability or upgrade. Um, okay, god dang. You select abilities in the tree, learn the highlighted ability. Yes. Okay, so um, passives are good. Maximum Bonus damage is 25%. You do more damage when firing from elevation. And you've learned to pick apart enemies that are still unwounded and unwary. You do more damage to enemies that are only lightly injured. That sounds awesome. Uh, I want both of those. I guess I'll go with this one first. And then next, I'll go with death from above. Apply. 
Okay, let's go back. Actually, I just want to look really quick to the... There's archery. There's also sabotage and subterfuge. Um, I was just curious about what these are. Uh, wasn't sure what they are, but okay, that's cool. Let's keep going, I guess. Open the gate. Right away, Lady Cassandra. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. It is. I don't know what it is either. I just know that I came from a rift and there was a golden lady that helped me out. The supply cache? Oh, it refills the potions. Okay. That's how I like refill. Without resorting to this exercise. Ah. Here they come. Liliana. You made it. Chancellor Roderick. This is I know who she is. As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby <laughs> order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Excuse me? Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. A thug, huh? We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. Uh, yeah, what about this big-ass breach that's, like, invading the world? Isn't closing the breach the more pressing issue? You brought this on us in the first place! Hey, what? I didn't bring nothing. Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. If we do nothing... Whoa, what's going on with my hand? How do you think we should proceed? Uh, oh, me? I ch I choose? Um <laughs> Now you're asking me what I think. You have the mark. And you are the one we must keep alive. Since we cannot agree on our own. Uh well, that is a lot of uh Oh, I like that it gives me like a a summary. I was going to say I like that they give me so much trust and so quickly. So, careful sustained assault. Soldiers will stand with you to ensure arrival. Scouts in the pass may be lost. Or, fast but indirect. Soldiers will act as a distraction elsewhere. The problem will be addressed sooner, but there may be casualties. Oh, okay. Uh, fast but indirect or careful sustained. I think careful sustained sounds better. I say we charge. I won't survive long enough for your trial. Whatever happens, happens now. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. Wow. Okay. This looks dangerous, yo. But I've got a good team with me. Cassandra, Varric, and Solas. And I still don't know much about Cassandra and Solus yet. Okay, High Counselor Roderick. All right, so let's keep going here. Um, okay, so you guys know, like I said, I really love to read these little uh, codex entries. I think they are awesome. So this is the, the asshole that we were just talking to. Hi, Count Chancellor Roderick. There are some who claim men have no place in the Chantry beyond the lowest rank of scholarly brothers and those who take their place amongst the Templars. It is not true. This is an organization spanning seven nations, from the smallest village chantry to the Grand Cathedral in Val Rio. It takes more than sermons to keep it alive. 
There is an invisible army at work ensuring meals are delivered, repairs are made, and faithful attended to, and much of it done by Chantry brothers like myself. The position of High Chancellor places a man beside the Most Holy, a control I control who is permitted audience, handle her correspondence, deliver her word to Thetis, and serve as her advisor on matters which may be mundane but cannot be disregarded. If I have influence, let it be said, it is something I use sparingly, if at all. This is a task to which I devote myself with solemnity. I and my fellows bear a burden so that others are free to guide the spirits of Thetis unencumbered. Excerpt from a letter by High Chancellor Roderick, oops, Roderick uh, Asignan, 938 Dragon. Cool, nice. And there was a few others. Let's just read the others. L Lavalena of the Dalish. The D okay, I know much about the Dalish from the first two games. The Dalish are elves who refuse to live in human cities where their people are exploited, having few rights. They choose to eke out an independent existence in the forests, attempting to keep the last remnants of their ancient culture alive. Arathel is from Clan Lavellan. Okay, so this is my clan. A group of Dalish who migrate around the perpetually feuding free marches. Arathel's people travel along the borders of each city-state's territory, where free march rulers will be less inclined to attack them, for fear of accidentally provoking neighboring cities. Erethel became a hunter at a young age, growing into a respected protector and provider. Wow, she's awesome. The recent mage rebellions disturbed her clan's way of life. Wait a minute. So I do have a history that I remember, but how did I end up in that portal to begin with? Well, maybe we'll see. The recent mage rebellions disturbed her clan's way of life as the fighting spilled out into the countryside. Clan Lavellan's leader, Keeper Dishana, Oh, God. Istamayathoriel? Istam Istamayathoriel? Lavellan chose Arathel to spy on the meeting at the Temple of Sacred Ashes between the Divine and the Feuding Factions, so she could bring back news of the outcome. After the explosion that killed the Divine, Arathel was the only survivor. Rumors that the mysterious mark on her hand is a sign of the Maker's favor were spread by those who claim they saw the Divine Prophet, Andraste herself, lead Lavellan out of the Fade. This is the first time that something or any text in the game has actually identified what that Golden Lady was, and apparently that's Andraste. Wow, I met Andraste herself, guys. Can you believe it? And here's Solas. Um... Cassandra, I understand our first order of business must be to, to investigate this bizarre breach in the sky and protect people from the demons descending. While my search continues, I wish to draw your attention to a new arrival at our camp, an elven apostate calling himself Solas. Okay. And he said, Solas said in his little dialogue, he said, every mage is an apostate. Good point, I think. Um, Solas entered the camp voluntarily, surrendering his staff to Chantry forces without protest. He is not Dalish, and says that he has never been part of the Circle, claiming instead to have studied magic peacefully on his own, particularly magic tied to the Fade. While I suspect you will be reluctant to accept the help of an apostate, Solas did come to us freely. Witnesses saw him in a nearby village at the time of the blast, so he was likely not responsible for what happened at the Conclave. However, he was described the effects of the uh, he has described the effects of the breach in enough detail to convince me that he knows more about the fade than anyone else present. Solas has requested permission to study the lone survivor and one of the smaller rifts in hopes of finding a way to seal the breach. He has correctly guessed that it is growing and believes it will destroy the entire world unless we find a way to stop it. Unless you object, I will allow him his studies under proper observation of course Liliana. And then finally, Varric Theris. I just want to get through these characters. Uh, there's power in stories. That's all history is. The best tales, the ones that last. Might as well be mine. <laughs> of course. Varric Theris of the Dwarven Merchants Guild of Kirkwall is a famous, or infamous, for two things. His books and his association with the Champion of Kirkwall. After the Templars and Circles broke away from the Chantry, Just uh, Divine Justinia V sent her agents to Kirkwall, where the roots of the war began. 
in search of answers. The champion had long since disappeared, but Varric had written a book on his friend's involvement in the destruction of the Kirkwall Chantry, and the left and right hands of the Divine located him with surprising ease. They captured and interrogated him, then brought him to the Conclave to give his testimony to the Divine in person, but fate decreed that he would never meet her. Gotcha. So he was there to give his testimony, and then she died. Great, and I'll get to the rest of this lore later on at some point, but for now, let's keep going, and let's go ahead and save while I've got uh, that open. Okay. Um, ooh! That golden, or I mean the golden, the green, the green blasts are pretty dangerous looking. Um, oh, it's a, one of those things, rifts, I guess. Get away, demon. Okay, so if I can, I should try to disrupt the rift. Disrupt it. I'm trying. I guess I have to not be interrupted while I do this. Wow, I love destroying the rifts. They just, it's so satisfying. How many rifts are there? We must Seal it if we have to get past. Quickly then. Disrupt it before I. Ooh, that was a gross. What is that thing? Oh, that is a cool looking gross animal. What is that? Close that portal. <laughs> I think I'm getting good at this. Sealed, as before. You are becoming quite proficient at hey, this. Hey, that's what I just said. Let's hope it works on the big one. Lady Cassandra, you managed to close the rift. Well done. <sighs> Do not Who's congratulate he? me, Commander. This is the prisoner's doing. Is it? I hope they're right about you. We've lost a lot of people getting you here. Oh, well... <laughs> I hope you're right too, to be honest. You're not the only one hoping that. We'll see soon enough, won't we? The way to the temple should be clear. Liliana will try to meet you there. Then we'd best move quickly. Give us time, Commander. Well, Make he's handsome. For you, for all our sex. Hey, he's a handsome man. Uh, I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy, but he seems like a very attractive guy. Wow, I just gotta say, I love the way this game looks. I'm like so into it right now. Ooh, loot. Give the me the temple loot. Of sacred ashes. What's left of it? Oh, the Temple of Sacred of Ashes. Faith, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Ooh. Let's look at that codex entry, though. The Temple of Sacred Ashes uh, rediscovered. I don't know. Would that be places? It would be. So, according to legend, the Sacred Ashes of Andraste were carried out of the Imperium by Havard, disciple of Our Lady. Wounded by Taventer soldiers when he tried to stop Andraste's capture, Havard was too late in coming to Minrothos to stop the execution. All he found was her ashes, left out in the elements. As soon as Havard touched them, Andraste appeared in a vision. Rise, she said, Aegis of the Faith. The Maker shall never forget you so long as I remember. The Aegis of the Faith, so named by our prophet herself, stood at her word uh, and found his wounds healed and his spirit renewed. He gathered the ashes of Andraste and returned to the lands of the Alamari tribes, which are now Ferelden. It's said that Andraste's uh, song led him to a holy site where Havard and his followers built a temple to house her remains. I've been in that uh, place, actually. I've been in there uh, in the previous games. I went and found the ashes of Andraste. There, the legend ends. For centuries, men searched for the Temple of Sacred Ashes, finding only rumors and tall tales. Chantry scholars concluded that there was no temple. 
Uh, there were no sacred ashes. It was all a myth, an allegory intended to inspire and feed the fire of faith. Then, aha, then the hero of Ferelden came, seeking to cure a dying Arl with the miraculous powers of the ashes. The hero, with the help of renowned scholar brother Fer Ferdinand Genetivi, traced the steps of the ancients and came to the remote ruin high in the Frostback Mountains. There, the urn of sacred ashes waited as the legend said it would. Yes, that was super epic. I loved that, by the way. After the triumph of the righteous over the fifth blight, the temple's discovery was shared with the world. Much to our dismay, however, by the time our soldiers arrived at the temple, the urn had, dis had disappeared. To this day, we do not know who took them or why. All that is certain is that it was the Maker's will. The hero of Ferelden did not share the discovery with the world, and Brother Genetivi, whose research made it possible, had disappeared without a trace. Truth, however, will always out, will always out, and rumors circulated about the cause of Arl Eamon Giaran's miraculous recovery. Agents of the Chantry investigated claims about the urn of sacred ashes and were eventually led, as the hero had been led, to the temple. By the time our soldiers reached it, however, the urn was nowhere to be found. So who took the ashes? Though the ashes were gone, the temple itself stood, and it has since become a source of hope for the faithful. If the Grand Cathedral is the beating heart of our Chantry, then the Temple of Sacred Ashes is her soul. Here we honor the Chantry's past, even as we forge bravely into the future. From a lecture delivered by Chantry scholar Mother Clothilde, Cloth, Clothilde at the University of Orle in 938 Dragon. Beautiful. So is this the Temple of Sacred Ashes then? Wow, look at those little things over there. Oh gosh, is this the temple? All completely ruined? Was that person burned alive? Whoa, that's a big one. Oh, is that where it's all coming from? Breaches a long way up. You're here. Thank the Maker. Liliana. Liliana, have your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll try. It's funny, it's like exactly what I want to say is the option. I love it. I'll try, but I don't know if I can reach that, much less close it. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down, and be careful. Do I even have the ability? Like... Am I strong enough? Like, does it require, like, a certain amount of power? Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. What? What are we hearing? Yeah, who's that? I guess the person who created the breach. Who's the person that created the breach? Is he nice? <laughs> uh... So I guess I get uh, just you know this stuff is red lyrium seeker. I see it, Beric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on lyrium beneath the temple, corrupted it. <sighs> it's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Oh, don't touch it. Okay, I was interested. <laughs> Sacrifice still. Someone help me. Who? Who needs help? Divine Justinian. <gasps> oh, I thought she was dead. I, I read in the codex entries that she's dead. I thought she was supposed to be dead. But really quick, what is this about red lyrium? Uh, I guess I thought it would be in crafting materials. Would it be magic? Oh, well, well lucky me. To answer your question, my lord, yes, I have indeed heard of this red lyrium of which you speak. A single piece of it surfaced in the eastern city of Kirkwall, and its influence alone was nearly enough to cause the city's destruction. As near as we can determine, 
It is regular lyrium that has been somehow corrupted. Those who have touched red lyrium or even come near it report that it sings to them like whispers in the mind that slowly drive them mad. We do not know, however, what might stem from extended contact with red lyrium. Madness, surely, but would there be a physical corruption as well? What would happen if a mage or a Templar used red lyrium as they use regular lyrium? Far more disturbing is the fact that red lyrium could be corrupted at all. Treat any red lyrium you encounter as if it were poison. Do not go near it, do not attempt to destroy it, and most importantly, do not attempt to use it. From a partially burned letter by an unknown writer affixed with the Grey Warden seal. And the breach. Okay, we've got to read the breach We're right here. What does it mean to pierce the veil? That which separates our world from the realm of dreams and demons. From the average man and woman, it is a frightening thought to consider just how fragile this separation actually is. The veil is not a physical curtain, not a structure limited to a particular place. It is everywhere. It is in their home, in the streets where they walk, in farmers' fields, as well as remote mountain va vales. At any moment, it could be torn to shreds, allowing demons and other horrors to flood into our world like water through a burst dam. Known lore tells us that small rifts can be sealed, but what about a large one? What if some catastrophic magical event created a rift so large and horrific, it weakened the integrity of the veil as a whole? Such a breach would threaten our entire world, turning concerns about occasional demonic intrusion into a charming anecdote compared to the monsters we would then face. If there is anything to be done, any reason we should look at magic with fear, it is for that possibility more than any other. From the True Thread of Magic by Lady Seeker Alondra Vale. I think the writing of these codex entries is really good. I think it's really well written. Wow. So I guess I've got to come down here and try to close this thing. Well, let's see if this is going to work. What's going on here? That was your voice. Most holy called out to you, but what? Oh, wow. What's going on here? Run when you can! Warn them! We have an intruder. Slay the elf. Who is that? You were there. Who attacked? And the divine is she? Was this vision true? What are we seeing? I don't remember. Echoes of what happened here. The fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed, albeit temporarily. I believe that with the mark, the rift can be opened and then sealed properly and safely. Wait. However, Opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons. Stand ready. We've got to open it? To close it? <laughs> or to seal it? Knock your arrows, men and women. Scary. No. That's a pride demon. Her arrow is going to affect that thing at all. So he's chilled. I don't know what chilled means, but. We must strip its defenses. Wear it down. Oh, do I have to disrupt the rift? Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm dealing a little bit more damage, but still almost no damage at all. Oh, 
dealing almost no damage to this guy. Whoa, that was cool. Wow. Oh God, don't come to me. Don't come to me. <laughs> Do I gotta disrupt this rip again? Oh, this is so cool. All right. Oh no, there's there's these dudes now. Oh. They're way too strong for me. Oh, okay, I've got to I've got to get out of here. Jesus. Okay. Ooh, I got slowed. All right, I gotta disrupt this rift again. Wow, this... Okay, so hold up, hold up. Uh, so he needs uh, health, right? So how do I heal him? Not defend. I, I guess defend is fine, but I don't know how to heal him. Oh, he got healed, though, somehow. Come on. Disrupt this thing. Varric is getting low on health. Oh, there we go. Right. Gotta get rid of these little ads. Just don't kill one of my guys, okay? Oh, Varric, no, Varric. Okay, disrupt the rift. I gotta do it as fast as I can. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, damn it, I gotta start over now. All right, come on guys, put everything you can to this dude. Give him everything you have, come on guys. Everybody's staying alive. All right, one more time. Let's disrupt this dang rift. Ugh, leave me alone, bro. This should be the last time, right? This should be. This should be it. I should have him now. Oh, seal it. Pride demon, yeah. Okay, we'll we'll look at that. Oh, wow! I got rid of it. All right, game over. <laughs> game over. Roll the credits. We saved Thetis. <laughs> Must be yeah, a little. Oh, I didn't know you were awake. I swear. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I only. I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. What? I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. Yeah, I don't know what it's that's all, all about. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. Oh, wow. It's been three days? So, are they are happy about it? So you're saying... They're happy with me. I'm only saying what I heard. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor. At once, she said. Uh. 
Okay, Codex unlocked, Haven, there's loot here. What's in the loot? Is that the, oh, L fruit. Okay, I'll take that. All right, so that's been interesting. So if we look here at our Codex, I think we got uh, creatures, yeah, we got one of these bad boys. Oh, the foot soldier, yeah, we, we know what a foot soldier is. I'm looking for the pride demon. Yeah, there we go, look at that badass. Okay, so the most powerful demons yet encountered are the pride demons, perhaps because they, among all other, uh, among all their kind, most resemble men. As clever and manipulative as the desire demon, with a penchant for a cruel irony that is almost human. While the de demons of desire largely engage in the bribery of mortals, pride will use mortals' own best nature against them. Clever men outwit themselves, strong men crush themselves, humble men forget themselves. Jealous men fear themselves. They turn corruption and ruin into an art. From Beyond the Veil, Spirits and Demons by Enchanter Mirdromel. When am I going to start seeing Brother Jenna TV again? Okay, cool. There's special shipments here. I noticed a little note. I want to read that note. What does this say? Patient observations, vain hope. Someone better at this than me takes over before the survivor expires. Um, notes in case. Day one, clammy, shallow breathing, pulse over fast, not responsive, pupils dilated. Mage says her scarring mark is thrumming with unknown magic. Wish we could station a Templar in here just in case. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so apparently I'm feeling better now that it's been three days. Oh, look at all of that armor. That looks really cool. Whoa, look at all of this. What is up with all of this armor? Hold up, uh, I gotta go to the right thing here. There. Now if I go to weapons, a bow of the dragon? Already I've got a badass bow instantly? I bet this is like DLC that is gonna make the game like so much easier, I feel like. Um, wow, look at that. And then what about armor? What do I have? Oh, wow, I look amazing. What is this? Oh, wow, look at all of this really cool. Oh, <laughs> whoa, hey, <laughs> this is dope. Oh man, I think I'm gonna put on some of this cool armor. Why not, right? Now, I think logically I should put on armor that makes sense, right? Rare light armor, so constitution and cunning. Yeah, I should probably pick something. Uh, it's heavy armor, so I guess heavy armor is not really what I should wear, right? It should be something with um, something that gives me like better bow stuff. Uh. So this is heavy armor, but it is, oh, this is defense, not attack. Uh, so these are all defense, uh, constitution and cunning, um, fire resistance. Probably constitution and cunning makes the most sense. It actually seems like it makes the most sense. So I'm gonna wear it, not because it looks the best, which it does, but it also makes the most sense to me in terms of the, the actual, so helmets, light armor, Got it, okay. So we'll go with that, and we also have some crafting materials, some don't know what those rags are yet, and then we have schematics, which I don't know what these are yet. Okay, so look at us, we already look freaking amazing. Holy moly, I'm glad I'm starting the game off looking like a hottie. Alrighty. Okay, guys, well, I think that will do it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm really excited to continue playing this game and learning more about the lore and the story and what's going on. And, you know, it seems like things are going well for me so far. I woke up and everybody's happy that I've saved Thetis by closing this rift. So, anyway, I can't wait for the next episode and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you all for joining me in this adventure and I will see you next time.